Hi everyone, welcome to learn and build web application using ASP.NET MVC and Code First Entity Framework video series. In this lab 2 video, I'm going to show you uh, the MVC architecture by creating a sample project and I'm going to cover uh, what is a model, view and controller and also I'm going to explain a initial MVC request lifecycle. And along with that, uh, I'm going to explain uh, ASP.NET MVC routing mechanism, how it works. Okay. Uh, I will be showing all these things with a demo. Uh, these are all the concepts that I'm going to cover in lab 2 video. Now, uh, let me start with uh, MVC architecture. Okay. Uh, let me create a sample project in MVC and uh, see the details uh, how the project has been uh, organized. Okay. Uh, let me go to the file page and create a new project. Okay, so select ASP.NET MVC4 application. Click on OK. So here you can see uh, it is uh, providing uh, several uh, project templates. Here we can select uh, the required uh, uh, template uh, which uh, suits our uh, uh, application. Okay, so empty project, uh, there is empty project, uh, basic template and uh, internet application. So if we're going to uh, create an internet application, then we can uh, select internet application. Some basic setup uh, would be provided for us. And also there is an intranet application. And if you want to uh, create a mobile application, then we can select a mobile template. And uh, also there is a web API template. Okay, so let me uh, select an internet application. So some of the basic setup uh, will be uh, done for us and uh, the uh, also select uh, the view engine as a razor view engine. Okay, uh, right now no need of creating a unit testing to keep it simple. Uh, I'll click on OK. Uh, so it has created a project for us solution contain MVC application one project and here you can see as I said uh, MVC uh, framework is uh, a mainly a architectural pattern which separates an application into three main components that is model view and controller okay so here you can see uh, the main components in this uh, project here is uh, a controller uh, view and uh, a model that is uh, this MVC framework is mainly divided into a three-tier three architecture. Okay, the basics uh, setup uh, has been uh, uh, done for us. Okay, so model contains uh, uh, the, all the application domain related things. Okay, and uh, uh, controller contains uh, the set of uh, action methods which uh, handles the control flow logic with the model and the view. Uh, view mainly represents the presentation layer. Okay. Apart from this, you can also see uh, some other uh, uh, some other folders uh, like uh, you can see this. These are all the references which no normally will be there in all the th all the projects. Uh, you can see this apps dot uh, uh, folder inside which uh, there are uh, many configuration files uh, which is present for us. Okay. So all these uh, things uh, will be required uh, if we are uh, when, whenever we are using uh, the application like if we are using web APIs uh, then if we want to set up certain uh, routing mechanisms then uh, we, we can uh, uh, set it over here. So all this uh, app start uh, config files will be called from the global.asx uh, uh, page. Okay. So in global.asx page all this uh, uh, config files has been registered and it will be calling from here. Okay, so first uh, uh, when the application runs uh, first it comes to global.asx and from here in this uh, application start method it gonna uh, register all the uh, config files which is present over here. So uh, it gonna register all the filter methods and the root uh, routing mechanisms, web API config changes, bundling and minification concepts, etc. Okay, and authentication uh, uh, mechanisms, etc. Okay, so apart from this, uh, you can s also see this uh, content uh, where it contains all the themes and site.css and uh, also uh, some filters 
uh, the basic filters uh, uh, okay so it's a mainly organized uh, set of uh, folders for us and this is uh, some some of the images and also you can see uh, scripts javascripts okay so as i said uh, mvc pattern uh, is uh, mainly an architectural pattern which separates an application into three main components the three main components is uh, a model uh, controller and a view okay so this is about uh, mvc architecture okay uh, now let us uh, see uh, details uh, about uh, what is a model a view and a controller okay now let us see uh, what is a model model represents the application data domain okay so it represents the application data domain and application business logic can also be contained in the model and normally uh, model contains a set of c sharp classes inside which uh, uh, present a set of entities uh, and also data annotation validations can also be defined on this uh, uh, set of properties entity properties and model can also have a data access logic okay so model contains a pieces of c sharp classes with a set of entity properties and a data annotation validation defined on top of it and data access logic okay we will be seeing this uh, uh, along with a example uh, so uh, mainly model contains a entities or a business object okay okay let me move back to the project and uh, uh, see how to create a model okay so uh, let me uh, tell you with uh, a sample example okay so now let me create a uh, one page for employee which contains a very simple page uh, which contains uh, two properties uh, one is employee name and the other one is uh, employee age so if we want to prepare uh, that page okay so the first thing what we have to do is uh, we have to create a model first okay if we are using a uh, code first entity framework video uh, code first entity framework uh, approach then first we have to create a model first so i'll be creating uh, hiding a class for a model i'll be giving a name employee and uh, so first thing uh, i have to do is uh, i have to identify the set of properties uh, 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 to which uh, i'm going to create a screen okay so uh, which will be uh, like uh, there are, as i said uh, there are, uh, i will be adding only two properties one is uh, employee name and the other one is age okay so i have i have identified the properties and uh, have created a model okay so you can see uh, as I said, uh, model contains a set of C sharp uh, C uh, classes. Okay, it contains a set of C sharp classes with a set of entities. Okay, so with a set of entities or properties defined on this classes, and also uh, you can also define a you can also define a uh, data annotation validations like uh, required, etc. So there are many data annotation validations uh, present uh, in MVC. Okay, uh, so you can make use of these things. Okay, so you'll be seeing all these data annotation concepts in uh, further uh, coming up videos. So, so now let us see about uh, the controller. Controller contains the control flow logic, and controller handles the user interaction with the web application. Okay, so controller, uh, what it does is that uh, it will also interact with the model and uh, uh, model or it may also interact with the service layer or repository pattern and uh, fetch the required data from the model or this uh, service layer or repository pattern and uh, uh, also render the data to the view and display it in the present uh, presentation uh, page that is a uh, view page. Okay, so controller uh, uh, contains a control flow logic and controller handles the user interaction with the web application and uh, also user request uh, comes from uh, through the controller to model and manipulates the records from it and then render the required data using uh, view to UI. Okay, so controller also contains uh, the action methods. Okay, controller contains uh, the set of action methods. Uh, if I want to show you, if I want to show you, let me create uh, uh, so so far we have seen here uh, what is model uh, in our practical approach 
so let me build this solution once after creating the model now after doing this uh, let me create uh, one controller okay add controller so i will be adding a controller uh, called as employee controller so i'm adding employee controller uh, with the uh, scaffolding template i am selecting empty uh, empty mvc controller i'll be explaining uh, about uh, scaffolding uh, template in uh, further upcoming videos uh, click on add so here you can see the one action method got generated okay so normally what controller uh, contains is uh, it contains a set of action methods okay so here you can see this uh, this is the action method so controller contains the control flow logic uh, mainly okay so it interacts with the model and uh, the view controller is the one which interacts with the model and the view now uh, let me tell you uh, the next concept uh, that is view what is view okay so here uh, i have added one uh, one action method is there so for uh, create screen okay for create screen we have to add one view so click on right click on it click on add view so here uh, I'm creating a index view okay so here uh, I'm creating a index view let me select the scaffolding template and also strongly typed view I'll be selecting employee model and uh, I want to create it for uh, create okay so I'll uh, se select the default uh, master page which is present over here and then uh, click on uh, add so the view page will be uh, gets generated and also you can see here uh, the view page uh, uh, index.cshtml page which uh, will be created in a separate folder called as uh, employee folder so it follows certain mvc follows certain conventions as i said uh, since uh, we have uh, created that uh, index.cshtml uh, view page for uh, employee controller so it created one uh, uh, separate folder in the uh, view page okay view folders uh, employee folder and inside it uh, it created index.cshtml so here you can see this uh, using the help of scaffolding template uh, it has created one template for us that is uh, create action uh, create uh, functionality which is which is having a create functionality so this uh, this is uh, what uh, the view we can see okay so index.cshtml is a view so let us see some of the points about view also views represents the presentation layer of the web application and uh, ui logic uh, will be contained in the view okay uh, views also should be dumb should uh, shouldn't contain any application logic only display logic okay and uh, no code behind and no business logic in mvc okay uh, because uh, if you see nsb.net web forms uh, uh, the uh, view page uh, spx uh, is uh, tightly coupled with uh, spx.cs uh, code behind file so uh, it is somewhat uh, disadvantage for uh, uh, parallel development okay so if uh, any developer one developer want to work in view page and the other uh, developer want to work in the spx.cs page it's a, it's a, it's not possible so here uh, we can say it's a little loosely coupled uh, in uh, in the view view related part okay so and action method by default calls uh, the view with the same name okay action method by default uh, calls uh, with view with the same name uh, because if uh, say suppose uh, action, uh, here the action method name is index so uh, by default it calls that uh, index.cshtml view page and views are not uh, tied to a specific uh, controller or action method okay so this is about the views now let us run the application and see uh, so far uh, whatever the application we have created so let me tell you again uh, once again so first we have uh, created one employee.cs uh, model and inside this class uh, we have created uh, two properties and for this uh, model property we have uh, after the after creating a model property we have created one controller class which contains a control flow logic uh, so here uh, which uh, contains uh, one action method and for this uh, action method we have also created one view page 
uh, that is index.cshtml uh, view page uh, this uh, uh, for this uh, view page we have taken uh, the help of uh, scaffolding template uh, that is uh, we have uh, selected a create uh, a scaffolding template okay so let me go to uh, empl slash employee let me put the debugger over here okay so here you can see after uh, uh, I'll be giving employee slash index so here you can see controller contains the control flow or logic so once we enter this URL so it will be calling to the particular uh, controller and action method so it will be calling to the particular uh, uh, controller called as employee and uh, action method called as uh, index action method okay so here you can see it uh, it calls it's it calls to a particular uh, index uh, action method so it returns a view okay so this uh, so so far we have uh, seen uh, uh, so we have created one uh, in, uh, employee create page so we should be able to see that uh, employee create page so here you can see this uh, create page which is present for us employee name and age so so far i've uh, shown uh, how to create a model and uh, then how to create a controller and uh, view and create a simple uh, create employee form which i have uh, which i uh, i've displayed you over here so in uh, further upcoming videos uh, we'll be seeing uh, how to insert the data which is uh, entered in the form okay uh, this is about uh, lab 2 section uh, 1 video uh, i hope you enjoyed watching this video please do subscribe to my channel uh, for watching more videos uh, actually uh, to keep the video length uh, short uh, short in length and uh, keep interesting uh, I, I divided this lab 2 video into two section in uh, uh, lab 2 uh, section 2 video we are going to see uh, uh, how the ASP.NET MVC initial request lifecycle. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.